Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad and welcome back to Waza Output video series on C programming language. Now, just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and first try to find out whether there are any errors in the program. And if you guys think there are no errors, then uh, try to find out the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. All right. Now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm going to build and run this. And the answer or you know the output of this program is hello in the first line, learning ladder rocks in the second line, i equal to 5, j equal to 5 in the third line. So now why the heck we're going to get the output like this. Now here the output of this uh, program is going to de depend on how this comma operator is going to work. In C, the comma is going to work in two ways one as a separator second as an operator if you look at this uh, line number four we have declared two integer variables i and j and we are using this comma here in this case this comma is going to work as the separator and if you look at this line number five here also we have used this comma and uh, since it is an expression this comma is going to act as an operator so whenever you're going to use this comma inside an expression it's going to act as an operator all right now the thing about this comma operator is this comma operator has the lowest precedence in the precedence table and it has the associativity from left to right which means that when you use this comma operator in an expression the left hand side of the comma operator will be executed first and then the right hand side will be executed and this comma operator is going to return the value of its rightmost operand. And also one more thing that I want to tell you is the printf function that we use to print some values is going to return the number of characters it has successfully printed. All right. Now let's see how this line will be executed. So here, if you look at this line, we have the comma operator here and in the left hand side of this comma operator, we have this printf and then in the right hand side we have this expression so first this left hand side of this comma operator will be executed and that's why this printf will be executed and we're gonna get hello and then a new line will be inserted and here that's why we're gonna get hello in the first line then a new line will be inserted and as i told you before this printf function is going to return the number of characters it has successfully printed. So here, one, two, three, four, five, and then it has printed this new line also. So it's going to return a value of six. Now, after executing this left hand side of this um, comma operator, it's going to execute this right hand side. Now, if you look at this right hand side, we have i equal to and then in parentheses, we have used the comma operator and in the left hand side of this comma operator, we have a printf statement which is printing learning lad and in the right hand side, we are printing uh, rocks using the printf statement and then we are storing the return value from this uh, printf function in this uh, variable j these things which are inside the parenthesis will be executed and since we have this comma operator here first the left hand side will be executed and then the right hand side will be executed so this printf is executed and it's going to print out learning lad and that's why you know we're going to get uh, learning lad here and after printing this learning lad this printf function is going to return the number of characters it has successfully printed which is 11 and then after executing this left hand side the right hand side will be executed so this printf function will be executed first so it's going to print out rocks and uh, you guys can see here we get rocks and uh, this printf function is going to return the number of characters uh, it has successfully printed so it's going to return a value of uh, 5 uh, and there are 5 characters in this string rocks so it's going to return 5 so now here if you look at these things which are inside this parenthesis the uh, left hand side of this um, comma operator is going to return 11 which is the number of characters returned by this printf function and this right hand side is going to return 5. So as I told you before the uh, comma operator is going to return the value of its rightmost operand. So this rightmost operand is going to have the value 5 
and that 5 will be returned by the contents which are inside this parenthesis and that 5 value will be stored in this variable i. Now if you look at this whole expression then the uh, left hand side of this um, comma operator has the value 6 you know the number of characters in this printf has returned which is gonna be 6 and then here the right hand side is gonna evaluate it to 5 you know the value of this variable i so and since we have this comma operator here it's gonna return the rightmost operands value which is 5 but we are not storing that value and that's why it's gonna be ignored and when we use this printf function to print out the values you know it's gonna print out i equal to 5 and j equal to 5 and that's why you know we're gonna get the output like this so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my website learninglab.com for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial